So you guys really seem to be loving the videos that focus on UK traffic and UK roads and I want to continue on that theme here on the motoringchronicle.com by basically going into some of your most popular questions that people are asking on the internet and one that I didn't really think would be on there is why is there no M7 motorway in the UK? Now my first thought when I saw this question was wait is there is no M7? Is, is there an M7 that is just really small and not many people use it or something? And it turns out there is no M7 motorway in the UK. There's an M1, 2, 3, all the way up to M9. But why is there no? Why is there no M7? What's going on here? Is there a reason for this? Well, there's several reasons for it. And it turns out that this whole topic is a lot more complicated than I initially expected here. Um, and it all it's all down to how the UK's roads are named. So let's just focus, first of all, on England and Wales, because when it comes to motorways in Great Britain, I'm not including Northern Ireland because I'm just gonna go with the island of Great Britain. So England, Scotland, and Wales. Effectively, there are two different ways these numbers are actually, these roads are actually numbered. Those for England and Wales, and those for Scotland. Let's focus on England and Wales first though, because that's where the number system starts. So before motorways came to the UK in the 1960s, there had already been an extensive road network in the UK of course it's been in place for thousands of years effectively you know you trace back the a1 it goes all the way back to the roman times going colchester to york i believe was the original route but when motorways came around you know there was already an a system already in there for about 30 years or so and basically the routes that all these roads took up were numbered from going clockwise from the M1 going out of London. So if you imagine where London is, just imagine it as a little dot in the southeast of England. And I'm going to put a map up as well to explain how these systems work. Basically, you've got the M1 going pretty much north from London. The M2, that kind of goes sort of southeast. The M3, that goes southwest. The M4 goes west. And then the M6 kind of branches off the M1, but it is basically further clockwise if you imagine it that way. So that explains where the M1 through 6 comes from. Now if you notice the top of the map you'll see Scotland up there and you'll see an M8 and an M9. Now this again is key because the way that Scotland numbered their roads was different to what England did. So for those that don't know in the UK there are devolved parliaments. The, the UK parliament governments the entire nation of the United Kingdom but there are devolved parliaments. There's one for Wales, there's one for Northern Ireland and there's one for Scotland and when these roads were being done there already was one in Scotland. I believe the ones in Northern Ireland and Wales are a lot more recent like the Senate in Wales is only, I think it's only been there for about 20 years or so. But Scotland did, did things differently when it came to motorways and the key point really with this is that the way they numbered their motorways was if it replaced an already existing A road. So for the M8 and the M9 up in Scotland, they must have replaced what were the A8 and the A9. However, the A7 in Scotland was not deemed to be important enough or popular enough to make into a motorway. So it's remained as the A7 and the M7 has never been used because of that. For those wondering, the A7 basically runs, it basically runs from Edinburgh all the way down to Carlisle, just looking at this map here. So it runs from the capital of Scotland to Carlisle, which is right on the border between England and Scotland in the northern parts of Cumbria. So that is basically why, because there is no reason for them to replace the A7 in their own words and they're going to keep it as the A7 and because of that the number is effectively unused. Of course there's loads of different numbers that are unused in the UK. For example I believe there used to be an M10 in the UK as well but that's been discontinued. It's no longer a motorway. I believe it's gone back to being an A road now. And I'm sorry, my apologies. It's not gone back to being the A10. It's now part of the A414. Because I know someone will correct me in the comments with that. Just something to note as well. When I spoke about motorways before, again, someone very handily corrected me. Not all motorways are 
the uh, just just got the m number at the prefix. Some of them have it as a suffix as well. So that's a little distinction there. But if basically, if there's an m in the number, it is a motorway. That is the easiest way to distinguish it. But yeah, for those wondering guys, that's what's happened. Basically, there is there is no M7 because Scotland deemed that the route that's currently the A7 is not worthy of being a motorway. There's no point doing it. So the M7, unless I don't know, unless a lot of people want to go from Carlisle to Edinburgh or the other way around, um, that's going to stay the case in the UK for the foreseeable future. But yeah, there you go, guys. A bit of information there on the UK's road network, which I know you guys love, and I love researching stuff because you genuinely learn things. I had no idea that the motorway system in England basically ran clockwise from the M1 all the way round to the M6. No idea about that. You learn something new every day. So I hope, I hope I've taught you something here on the motoringchronicle.com, guys. And for much more motoring and motorsport videos, explainers, news, and everything in between, do keep it tuned right here on the site. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell as well. Have a good one, guys. See you very soon.